Hi everyone. Um, this is an unboxing video, but with a difference. Um, I've already unboxed the radio. Um, I actually did that video yesterday. Um, and there wasn't, there isn't actually much in the box with an ELAD, so that part didn't take very long. So I powered it up um, and then realised that I had no idea how to use it um, because it's kind of, it's although it has a front panel, which is what I was looking for. You know, I was looking for a full blown SDR. With um, but with a front panel so the radio could be, could be used in the traditional sense. Um, it doesn't have an array of buttons and knobs and what have you in the way that a, a sort of traditional communications receiver would have. So it, it involves pressing a buttons and then toggling through. The, well, many of the um, features on the front panel have multiple uses. So uh, it's not intuitive. You actually do have to kind of read the manual. So. Um, so I decided to bin that video uh, and do it again now that I have actually figured out how to use it. Um, so this is the box it actually came in. Um, no branding on it whatsoever. Uh, I guess ELAD isn't an operation that scales in the way that, you know, Texan does, um, obviously. Um, but that wasn't really a great surprise to me. So in the box, um, was obviously the radio. There's no power supply supplied with this radio, which I thought was pretty odd, especially considering it cost about £700. Um, but uh, the nice guys where I bought it actually gave me uh, a power supply free of charge, which was great. So basically, it's the radio, um, a quick start guide which basically gives you a very kind of shorthand version of uh, how to access the various features. Um, this, the filters and uh, all the various settings on, on this radio, are, you know, there's a huge number of uh, options for noise reduction, noise blanking, uh, notch filtering, etc. I mean, there's so many more options than my FRG, which I think had ACG and then narrow and wide filters. Um, so there's this piece of paper that came with it, which is a short, as I said, a short guide, a quick start guide for using the receiver and also how to get around the um, software once it's installed. And then there's a piece of paper which kind of warns the user that this radio has a TX board and can be used on, on frequencies that aren't generally allowed and then gives the... Uh, standard band plan to remind people where they can and can't uh, transmit. Um, then there's a kind of thing that looks a bit like a mouse mat. I don't know whether it is actually a mouse mat or whether it's a pad to stand the radio on. Um, but anyway, that came with it. Um, the radio was in here. And then there's a box here, which has actually got this, is actually, there's a, uh, the mic in here because obviously it is, it is actually a transceiver. Um, so that's it, one radio, one mouse mat or pad, two pieces of paper, um, the cables. Uh, this is one good thing actually, all of the cables that you need to operate this radio as a receiver and a transceiver are actually, they're all they were all included, um, which was nice. Um, and then the software, the FDMSW2 software was provided via that, um, uh, USB dongle. Um, so that was it basically. Uh, that's everything that came in the box. And as I said, when I did this video yesterday, I had no idea how to use the radio once I powered it up. So um, I've actually figured out roughly how uh, how to use it. I haven't spent an hour or two this afternoon. Um, and I've managed to load the software uh, onto a Windows laptop, which wasn't completely straightforward, um, but having said that, I, I use a Mac these days, but uh, anyway, so it didn't take very long. Um, and so it is actually all working. Now, at the moment, the TV's on downstairs, and so there's a horrendous amount of noise. Um, I have got a signal. Um, which you can hear coming through the laptop speakers. Um, and then, so 7360 megahertz, 7360 megahertz. And I've seen this done once before on YouTube, but basically I can now tune manually using the actual radio. Um, and you have to forgive the hum, but that's the TV from downstairs. 
So I'm tuning manually on here in the spectrum. As you can see, I'm tuning through the spectrum. There we go. Uh, as I said, the, the actual reception is rubbish because the TV's on downstairs and my, she's the boss. Um, but you can use it basically in, you know, uh, in as an SDR, full-blown SDR, obviously with the computer. Um, but you can also use it manually whilst the SDR software is running. It's quite clever. Um, it was kind of what I was looking for. I wasn't really planning to do both at the same time. I was planning to use it as an SDR um, and then also use it in the traditional sense. Um, but as it happens, you can do both. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, I haven't had a really good opportunity to put it through its paces because uh, since I actually got it working, the TV's on, everything's on. But there we, but there's a, you know, a reasonable demonstration. So, um, so that's basically what came in the box. This is as far as I've got with it. Um, I'll maybe later on, if I get a chance, I'll um, connect the uh, Wellbrook. I haven't got this. Is actually connected to a long wire at the moment because the Wellbrook's indoors and with the TV on, the, um, it's even noisier. But the Wellbrook comes into its element when you know the TV is off. Um, so I'm, I'll do that later on. But here, anyway, here's a just a quick look at the uh, fact that uh, it's set up and it's up and running. There's a lot to learn. Um, the GQRX software that I use on my Mac is so simple in comparison to this. There's, this is 10 times more complex. Fundamentally the same, but there's a lot more to learn to, to get the most out of this. So, um, but I look forward to it. Um, anyway, so that's it. I hope you had a good new year um, and um, I'll post some more videos pretty soon. Okay, thanks for watching.